Mikoyan MiG-41, or PAKDP, is a stealth interceptor slash heavy fighter aircraft being developed by Mikoyan. The aircraft is intended to replace the Mikoyan MiG-31 and the Russian Air Force in the mid-2020s. According to Russian defense analyst Vasily Kashin, the MiG-41 will be considered a sixth-generation project. This sixth-generation fighter can travel at breakneck speeds and will be equipped with a laser gun and can even shoot down enemy satellites in Earth orbit. The Russian Air Force wants to replace the MiG-31 Foxhound in the early 2030s. The MiG-41's first flight could take place in 2025 if the designers and engineers at Mikoyan OKB have the resources. This achievement is optimistic, and it shows that Mikoyan has excelled in skiing. The MiG-41 program will likely only be able to juggle technology demonstrators in the coming years. The specifications of the MiG-41 are very ambitious. Start with advertised MACH-4 to MACH-5 speeds. This will create a large amount of heat from air friction, which will burn the stealth coating. Canopy design would be difficult in that environment. The aircraft must launch a hypersonic weapon like the Kinzel, if that's possible. The Russians may be inclined to design the MiG-41 like the SR-72 Darkstar Sun of Blackbird to fly safely at those mega speeds. Thus, the MiG-41 would have a high ceiling, high enough to fire anti-satellite missiles. It can be powered by a ramjet or turboramjet engine, which enables a plus MACH-4 speed, similar to that which powers some hypersonic weapons. At that speed, it might be possible to shoot down hypersonic missiles, which would be an interesting capability. But MACH-4 also requires large amounts of fuel which would make the aircraft heavier and less maneuverable. Air refueling will affect the stealth attributes of the MiG-41. The MiG-41 will carry various types of advanced weapons such as laser guns, hypersonic missiles, anti-satellite missiles, and anti-missile lasers. Russia has also planned to arm the MiG-41 with a different type of missile system. The MPK or the DP multifunctional long-range interceptor missile system. This advanced weapon will issue several sub-missiles to increase the chances of intercepting and destroying the opponent. Hypersonic weapon. Overall, we can say that the MiG-41 will be a heavily armed interceptor. The ability to operate at very high altitudes and even in near space will give the MiG-41 an additional advantage over other opposing aircraft. The technical specifications of the MiG-41 are actually very hard to believe. The Mikoyan Aircraft Group had very high expectations from the MiG-41 project, but developing advanced technologies to support the aircraft's technical specifications would be a very challenging and difficult job for the MiG Group. The MiG-41 will fly at a high speed of Mach 4 to 5. Flying at this high speed rate will generate a huge amount of energy in the form of heat. This huge amount of heat will definitely make the MiG-41 vulnerable to attack. Opponents attack because the aircraft's heat signature will be easily detected by the opponent's infrared sensor. This large amount of heat will also damage the fuselage structure, eventually damaging the aircraft's stealth coating. Supersonic flight requires enormous amounts of fuel, so Russia had to build a very powerful, but also very fuel-efficient engine for the MiG-41, otherwise the aircraft would not be able to carry out long-range flight missions as the aircraft would run out of fuel with very fast. The Russians had to build a very powerful engine that would be able to generate enough thrust to support the aircraft's Mach 5 speed. The MiG-41 is somewhat similar to the United States Air Force's Air Dominance fighter jet program. The MiG-41 unmanned combat aircraft version will be even more interesting. Therefore, based on the specifications above, we can say that the MiG-41 will be a very interesting fighter. <laughs>